Hi everyone! So for today's video, isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano namin uh, inayos or inassemble yung aming adjustment of status packet. So meron kami 5 envelopes. Yung una is yung adjustment of status. Yung pangalawa is yung employment authorization. Pangatlo is yung travel document or yung advance parole. Yung pangapat is yung affidavit of support. Uh, from petitioner and then yung panglima is yung uh, our proof of relationship so this is what it looks like ganito yung envelope namin tapos nilagyan na lang din namin ito ayan tinate and then ayan inrint lang namin ito so itong adjustment of status or yung form I-485 and then yung application for employment authorization with uh, supporting documents yung form I-765 and then meron din kami nitong application for travel document or yung advance parole with supporting documents or yung form I-135 uh, 131 and then, itong form I-864, yung affidavit of support with supporting documents. And then, last one is yung aming proof of relationship. So, for our envelope, uh, ito lang yung ginamit namin. Nabili namin siya sa Walmart. Ang sukat niya is itong 10 by 13. Tapos, meron na siyang anim sa loob. Hindi ko lang matandaan kung magkano yung price niya, but ayan. Ito yung ginamit na. And then, meron din kami nitong clips, uh, paper clips, at saka itong alligator clips. Ayan, ganyan siya. Sa Walmart lang din namin sa pili. At itong post-its. So, ginamit namin to per envelope since naka-post-its yung mga documents namin sa loob. Papakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya. And lastly, itong tape. Sa Walmart lang din namin siya binili. Yung tape ginamit namin dito sa pang... Ayan, dito sa pang ganito, front page. Ayan. Tapos sa loob ng packet namin, ganito yung itsura niya. So, hindi ko na sa inyo ipapakita yung first page since meron siya yung mga details namin. Pero, ayan, meron siya nung our wedding photos, wedding congratulatory, uh, messages, photos of me and my husband, photos with our family in the Philippines since our, uh, my in-laws visited the Philippines last August 22, uh, last August 2022, and then our video calls with our family in Philippines, Panama, Texas, and Oklahoma, and then our joint bank account from, uh, BAC community, uh, bank and then my husband's retirement plan or indicating me as his beneficiary in our health plan card from blue cross blue shield so ayun dito namin ginamit yung mga post-its so ito yung aming wedding pictures ayan tapos nilagyan namin ng date kung kailan at kung saan siya tapos nandito dito yung mga post-its Ayan, nakalagay lang dito yung post-its. If mag-focus siya. Ayan, our wedding photos. Tapos, kung ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod namin dun sa cover letter, ganun din siya. So, ayun. Tapos, dun sa iba is, hindi ko na lang sa inyo ipapakita since uh, merong mga details namin. So, 
So, ayun nga pala. Beside, uh, aside from those five envelopes, uh, meron ako nitong cover letter for all of it. So, uh, tinakpan ko na lang yung mga details ko. Pero, meron siya nung uh, address nung USCIS. Yung name ko dito. Tapos, address and then my phone number. Tapos, ito yung address. Tapos, nature of submission is yung uh, immediate relative family base adjustment of status application form I-485. Tapos, filing concurrently with application for employment authorization or yung form I-765, application for travel document or yung form I-131 at yung affidavit of support. Form I-864, signed by my husband. Uh, tapos, ayan. Tapos, dito is just my... Uh, my signature again. Tapos, ayan lang, guys. So, ganito, guys, yung sa adjustment of status packet ko. So, ayun lang guys. Thank you for watching and sana makatulong sa inyo itong video na ito. And please give it a thumbs up if you like it and just comment down below if meron kayong mga questions. At hopefully, uh, uh, meron akong idea. And thank you for watching.